Good day. Welcome to Partaker's Wednesday Worship on the 7th of September 2011. Let's start with this short prayer. O oh Lord God, we willingly declare your praise. Because of your saving help, we have great joy. Because the Holy Spirit lives within us, we are sustained and cleansed. May the words we speak in here, as well as our attitudes, all be acceptable worship to you, O great God and Creator. Amen. Let's now have our readings from the Bible. Our first reading is from the Old Testament and the book of Leviticus chapter 22 and verse 31 to 33. God is speaking. Keep my commands and follow them. I am the Lord. Do not profane my holy name. I must be acknowledged as holy by the Israelites. I am the Lord who makes you holy and who brought you out of Egypt to be your God. I am the Lord. And our New Testament reading comes from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18. And we, who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. These are the words of the Lord. Let's be thankful to God. Amen. We now have a song by Jeff Waldridge. Oh, for a heart to praise my God. Oh, for a heart to praise my God. A heart from sin set free. A heart that always feels thy blood so freely shed for me. A heart in every thought renewed And full of love divine Perfect and right and pure and good A copy, Lord, of thine Thy nature gracious, Lord, impart Come quickly from above Write thy new name upon my heart, thy new best name of love. Amen. I wonder when the last time you did some form of cleaning or even purchased some cleaning products. Next time you're in the supermarket, go and count how many products there are on the shelves for cleaning. Oodles and oodles of them, each one of them promising to make whatever is being cleaned new again. And sometimes cleaning is hard work, particularly if you're getting little boys or puppy dogs to take a bath. Cleaning and being cleansed is also a major part of living the Christian life. Did you know that? That is known as sanctification. For as a Christian, you have been sanctified, Hebrews 10 verse 10, washed clean, 1 Corinthians 6 verse 11, and are being transformed into the image of Jesus Christ and conformed to his likeness, 2 Corinthians 3 verse 18 and Romans 8 verse 28 to 29. You, as a Christian, are to be a living sacrifice, transformed by the renewing of your minds, Romans 12, verse 1 to 2. This holiness, for that's what it is, is the pursuit of moral excellence and is by necessity a very high standard. 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 3. This process of sanctification is where God the Holy Spirit, who lives inside you, is transforming you into the very likeness of Jesus Christ as the fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, is produced in your life as a Christian. And when you became a Christian, your status or your condition before God is that you are set apart for God and to be separated from sin, and you have attained moral holiness. So in principle, you are a saint, 
and God has already declared you sanctified because you have been made holy and you are being washed and sanctified. In practice, and in order to reflect these God-given truths, as a growing Christian in the power of the indwelling Holy Spirit, you should be perfecting holiness, freed from the contamination of sin, engaging in the continual process of becoming more like Jesus Christ, and transforming your character by the renewal of your mind. And it's not easy. This process is lifelong and maintained by a disciplined devotion to righteousness or living rightly before God with a desire and firm decision to live a life totally submitted to God. And this is not done in our own strength. This is all done by our work of God as you submit yourself to the indwelling Holy Spirit. Sanctification is God's way of showing that He loves you. This sanctification is God showing you His love in action. He loves you far too much for you to remain as you were, but initiates and maintains this lifelong transformation into the very image of your Master Jesus Christ as you submit to Him. Sometimes sanctification can be a, a hard process, but the pursuit of righteousness and transformation is worth it, because by allowing yourself to be transformed and sanctified, you are also showing God how much you love Him. So in essence, you are reflecting love back to God that He first imparted to you. Continue through this week, allowing the Holy Spirit who lives within you to transform, cleanse and sanctify you. We now have another song by Jeff Aldridge. Hallelujah! What a Saviour! Man of sorrows, what a name For the Son of God who came Ruined sinners to reclaim Hallelujah! What a Savior! Bearing shame and scoffing rude, In my place condemned he stood, Sealed my pardon with his blood. Hallelujah! What a Savior! Guilty, vile, and helpless we, Spotless Lamb of God was He, full atonement, can it be? Hallelujah, what a Savior! Lifted up was He to die, it is finished was His cry, now in heaven exalted high, hallelujah! What a Savior! When He comes, our glorious King, All His ransomed home to bring, Then anew this psalm will sing, Hallelujah! What a Savior! Let's now have a short time where you can offer your own praises and prayers to God. Let's pray and praise together.
Father God, in your great mercy, hear these praises and prayers of your children. For we ask and offer them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and in the power of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. Amen. Let's finish today with a benediction taken from Hebrews chapter 13. Now may the God of peace, who brought up from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, and ratified an eternal covenant with his blood, may he equip you with all you need for doing his will. May God produce in you, through the power of Jesus Christ, every good thing that is pleasing to him. All glory to him, forever and ever. Amen. Thanks for joining us on Partakers Wednesday Worship. See you again real soon.